You're watching Creepy Popcorn. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Delta 213 for the commercial alarm at Moroni Irrigation, 187 Diablo Road. Delta 213, copy. Alpha 129 and 130 for the domestic, 133 Davis Avenue. Neighbors report loud screaming. Copy that. seven days ago. They got nothing. No sign of Deputy Cooper anywhere. All they found was a large pool of blood. That the FBI claimed belonged to several people? Except none from Deputy Cooper? Yeah, from all across the country. One as far away as Alaska.
Emily Whitson, Buffalo. She got on a train to New York City and never arrived. All the surveillance cameras at the stations confirmed that she never exited the train. Thought to have jumped at some point committing suicide. It wasn't suicide. Roger Tortons, missing six months, Detroit, Michigan. Saw it coming. Martha Tanner's Anchorage, last seen three years ago walking into an old antique store. She didn't see it coming. Carl Morgenstein, Richmond, Virginia, followed his dog out into the woods. Three days later, they find the dog whimpering outside a small cave. Very painful. So how does the blood of these people end up in a warehouse in New Jersey? Not my concern. You didn't see anything else in those visions of yours that could help direct me? No. Deputy Cooper, seven years on the job. Doesn't have a bad mark on his record. Loved by the community, married his childhood sweetheart. They got a couple small kids. And the sheriff calls me because they hit these dead ends. And now the FBI is throwing out this theory that Cooper has a chick on this eye. He's having an affair with, and because he's broke, he decides to fake his own death and uh, run away. That's a stretch. The sheriff he knew about our work on the Campbell case in North Carolina, so he tracks me down, asks for my help on the down low. Of course, can't have guys like you and I involved. Uh, guys like you, I'm not involved. You keep forgetting I'm retired? He loves this kid like a son, and he's asking for our help. No, he's asking you for help. The warehouse sits on a parcel of land that has a long history of bizarre tragedies and uh, disturbing events. I thought you might be interested. I'm not. North Carolina almost killed me. I said no more then, and I'm saying no more now. I'm done chasing the devil. Well, I'm not. That's interesting, considering you don't even believe in the devil. No, but I do believe there's a lot of horrible people in the world that use him as an excuse to do what they do. Like that 12-year-old little girl shot you seven times in the chest? Look, I appreciate the financial support the last few years. I really do. It's the only reason I got out of play and come out here and help, but... I did that. I'm done. Going home. There's no one else that I trust to help me with something like this. I've seen enough of this stuff. Just can't do it anymore. All this faith talk over the years. Huh? Always yammering on about how much faith you got how much faith I need. But look at you, you're too scared to help an old friend. Yeah, I'm right, I'm scared. My faith doesn't make me stupid. You're not scared because you don't believe, and that makes you dangerous. I don't believe because I worked murders in kids being raped for 16 years of my life. So yeah, I don't think there's this magical, loving God up above. Not one who would let that hurt happen. Deep down, you and I both know where this leads. And it ain't to no happy ending. I have no desire to go back to that hell again. Can't go to battle with you on this one, brother. 
fine. I'll do it alone. Mike. I need you on this. I'll never ask again, I promise. Twenty-four hours. I'll stay and help with the interviews, but that's it. I'm on a plane tomorrow. First up, Deputy Cooper's best friend, Scott, also a cop. He was first on the scene that night. He agreed to talk with us off the record. Why'd he want to meet this far outside of town? Small town cop. Intimidated by the big FBI. Seen that before. A lot. That it? Yeah. Deputy Scott Crenshaw. Then you should know better than to sneak up on an ex-cop. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. This whole situation just has me all freaked out. Then the sheriff tells me why you guys are here, and it's like a bad episode of X-Files. Yeah, it's a lot to take in, we understand. Yeah, we appreciate you talking with us. Look, I don't care what those feds say. I'm gonna talk to anybody who can help find my best friend. Coop and I did everything together. Hell, I basically lived with him and Pat till they had the kids. You guys talked to Pat yet? No. I wanted to hear what you had to say first. Well, no disrespect, but I ain't gonna tell you anything that you haven't already read in my report. We find that it's often the little things that get left out that are very useful. Had you ever been out to that property before? Not since it had been rebuilt and turned into the warehouse. And what was it before? Last time I was there, these so-called devil worshippers were running a meth lab that blew up killing everybody, including the small kids. It was horrible. Bad stuff always seems to happen on that land. I guess that's why the locals call it the Imp of Darkness. It's called the Imp of Darkness? Yeah, among other things, Devil's Den, Serpent's Ridge, Hell's Hill. Wait, you said the locals call it that? You're not from around here? No, I'm at Patton Coopin College. Started visiting and just loved it up here. Did you always want to be a cop? God, no. Honestly, I just followed Coop. 
If he'd been a baker, I'd have probably been a baker too. Hey, it's okay. No one else is out here. You can trust us. Let's talk about that night. You got there right after his last help call. Yes, sir. And you went inside as soon as you got there? No. I cleared the perimeter and waited for backup. You waited for backup before you went inside? Yeah. It's in my report. No, it isn't. The official report states that you cleared the entire property, inside and out. The sheriff is probably just trying to save me from looking bad. He probably had the detectives change my official statement so I wouldn't look like a coward. No one thinks you're a coward. I do. I am. I got there as fast as I could. Okay, and then I realized I was all alone and I froze. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't even get the courage to scream for Coop because I thought whatever got him might come get me. You think something got him? I know he didn't run off with some other woman. He loved Pat. He loved the kids. He loved me. Look, I don't know what happened in there. I don't know if he's alive or if he's dead. But I know that I failed him. When you finally did go inside with the state police, what'd you see? I got sick as soon as I went in, and I turned around and I came back outside. Because of the blood? I didn't get far enough in to see any blood, but that place smelled like death. Scott, did you bring that photo we asked for? Yeah. Hello, Michael. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Do you think that Mrs. Cooper will speak with us? She's all tore up about this. But she'll help anybody she thinks can bring Coop back. I could take the kids to ice cream later, and you guys could visit then. That'd be great, Scott. Thanks. Hey, Scott, one last thing. Was Deputy Cooper afraid of that, uh, this area of darkness? Coop wasn't afraid of much, that's the truth. But that place, nobody liked going there. No one. I could use your coffee. So could I. You don't trust him. He's got a guilty conscience. I just don't know if it's liar's guilt or coward's guilt. Definitely an odd duck. Yeah. yeah. He's hiding something. So what did you see in Scott's photo? knows I'm here. Who? The devil. A storefront gypsy helps me find my husband. I just want him back. I can't imagine how traumatic this must be for you and your family, but I assure you, we're here to help. Thank you. Yeah. But 
but how exactly do ghost hunters help with a situation like this? That's what some people call us, but we're not ghost hunters. We're just private investigators who specialize in a field that, quite frankly, most people are intimidated by. And that field is, is what exactly? What some might refer to as the unknown. Or the uncertain. Yeah, we've seen the works of evil that most hope they never do. Like what? What I would call the work of the devil. You mean like Satan worshippers and stuff? People who claim to be influenced by Satan. Yes. I could see you're a woman of faith. So I'm gonna be frank. My partner and I differ when it comes to some of our beliefs. But what we don't differ on is getting to the truth. You don't believe in God? Let's just say I have a lot of questions. When Coop first saw me, he said that he knew God had made me just for him. He had a lot of questions about his faith, too. But he never questioned that. And don't you question it now. Hold on to that, no matter what anyone says. It's hard when, when they're spreading rumors all around town about my husband. Where do you think the FBI is getting that information? I have no idea. We're good people. I mean, sure, we bought a house that we can't afford, but... Coop didn't want me to go back to work after the kids were born. So we started working a lot of overtime and some off-duty security jobs. But my husband was not sleeping around town with a bunch of women, and he didn't fall in love with some whore who he created some elaborate plan to run away with. Please, help me, Michael. What can you tell us about Scott? He and Coop were inseparable, even away from work. Scott would be right here, by Coop's side. He doesn't have any other family or friends around here. No. His parents died when he was a kid. And when he met us, we became his family. We were his only friends, really. Does it bother you that he didn't do more to help your husband that night? Scott had no business being a cop in the first place. You met him. Who's he gonna save? But he was Coop's best friend. Seems awful cowardly. You guys don't understand. Coop and I grew up on the port. We know everything about that land. Do you know how many stories we've told Scott about Hellville or Serpent Town or Wicked Way? I mean, the names are only outnumbered by the crazy incidents that have taken place there over the years. To be honest, I'm surprised my husband went out there alone. He'd pick up a dozen rattlesnakes before stepping foot on that land, trust me. Really? He didn't seem that frightened upon his arrival that night. Please. Cop bravado. I know my husband. That place chilled him to the bone. Especially ever since his daddy drove down there and shot himself in the head. Wait, what? Nobody told you guys about that? No. Coop's dad was the sheriff back in the day when he arrested this man we used to call Old Nick for killing his wife and four kids. Old Nick. Yeah, his real name was Robin. He was the old groundskeeper at Devil's Den when it was still a Civil War burial ground. He had this old shack out there where he and his family lived. One day he washes ashore on the beach of Danes Point. Says he has no idea how he got there. And his family just vanished. Coop's dad questioned him for hours. Beat him up some kind of bad too. But all he would say was, Old Nick. Over and over, Old Nick. He ended up in a mental hospital where he just kept old Nick. Only words that ever came out of his mouth. 
then one day out in California, they arrest this man. And they find Robin's wife and four babies in his trunk. Coop's dad couldn't believe it. Where's Robin now? He's still around. He lives on the streets. I used to see him out at the point a lot. And Coop's dad, he was just so riddled with shame, he killed himself. <laughs> no. You'd have to have a soul to feel shame. That man was so embarrassed. And his ego couldn't take it. The townspeople hated seeing what happened with Robin, and they blamed him for it. Then he lost the next election, and his sanity came after. Why do you do it out there? In the imp of darkness? You'd have to ask old Nick. Why him? Most people say he's the only person who truly knows the evil of that land. Why is that? Because he's lived it. But because of that, it's made him stone cold crazy. And not a lot of people believe crazy people. How does any of this help you find my husband? Well, this is that information that falls in the unknown arena. And often leads us to where we need to look. Do you happen to have a recent photo of your husband? Yeah, of course. Let me get it from the bedroom. What do you think? I think I should have left you when I had the chance. You remember what we found the last time we heard the name Old Nick? What do you think about her? I don't know yet. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's talk about your husband. Did you notice anything different about Coop lately? To be honest, the past few months, he's been acting a little strange. Strange how? Scott said he's kind of been a cowboy on the street. Not waiting for backup. Running into drug houses alone. I am so happy you've come here, Michael. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, uh, I haven't been sleeping. Uh, should probably just splash some water in my face. Can I use your restroom? Of course, it's back of the house on the right. Thank you. Can I ask you a few uncomfortable questions? Sure. Is there anyone close to you who would want to hurt Coop? No one that I could think of. Do you and him engage in sexual conduct with others outside your marriage? What? I'm not being judgmental, I just need to know. No. We are good Christian people. Adultery is a sin. You've never been unfaithful to your husband? Absolutely not. I loved my husband. Loved? Love. Why are you asking me these things? I have to ask questions that no one else wants to.
happened to find your books. I was curious. I figured you wouldn't mind. Well, I do. You say you want to help, but you're just like all the others. All you really want is to find dirt on my husband and tear my family apart. No, that's not true. Then why don't you go out there and find him? That's what we're going to do, ma'am. But sometimes we have to dig deep first, into dark places. Can I just ask why a woman of faith would allow such books in her home? You can take that judgmental, holier-than-thou attitude and shove it up your ass. It makes you feel better. These books belong to Coop's dad. They were in his possession when he died. Coop still hasn't figured out why. He has a lot of notes written in this. I'd be very interested to learn what he knows. Could I borrow this? No. I don't trust you. Now, please, just leave. Now. I don't ever want to see you two again unless you're bringing my husband home. This ain't right. <laughs> what part exactly? Old Nick. What about him? Are you kidding me? This is North Carolina all over again. Because she referenced the same urban legend? Old Nick is not an urban legend. It's a name used by the devil. Oh, right, the devil. He's got nothing to do with this. And he didn't have nothing to do with killing those kids three years ago. You're wrong. And now he's got us right where he wants us. How, Mike? How's the big bad devil got us? Because he knows there's no way in hell either of us are leaving here without Old Nick. And you ain't ready. Who the hell am I not ready for? It's done. What the hell is wrong with you, Scott? I almost shot you again. And what did you just say? I said I. That's not what you said. Yes, it is. What are you doing here? And where are the kids? Oh, Pat asked me to take the kids to her mom's after ice cream. I just came by to check on everything. You guys get what you needed? Yeah. Thanks. Great. Have a good night. You too. All right, thanks a lot, Sheriff. Yeah, we're over here now. Yeah, have a good night. He said we should find him somewhere over here. It's peaceful. You gonna tell me what's going on? Got you all twisted up. The visions, they're different this time. How so? My whole life, I've only ever been able to see glimpses of the person in the photo. Just that moment before they die. Never sounds or communication. But now it's different. He's talking to me. Cooper? No, through Cooper. Like he's his puppet. Right. I'd give anything if just for once you could see what I see. Well, that makes two of us. I ever tell you why Paul is my favorite person in the Bible? Well, besides Jesus. No. In one of his letters he wrote, I have found in whatever state I am in to be content. You know when he wrote that? No idea. When he was in prison. No matter how bad it got for him, he counted himself blessed. He kept his eyes focused on the Lord all the way to his beheading. In his
his last breath, he praised Jesus. That's real faith. Yeah, I guess. It's something. Not quite sure what it has to do with all this. What's your point? I just need you to know, in the battle between good and evil, faith is the only weapon we got. Just here to talk. Old Nick. Old Nick. Old Nick. Old Nick. You've seen old Nick, haven't you? Old Nick. Old Nick. Old Nick. Old Nick. Old Nick. Hey, don't be afraid. Listen, don't be afraid. I just need to know what you know. God told me y'all was coming. Did he tell you that we were here to see old Nick? else, didn't he? God told me I wasn't done yet. No. Not yet. You hungry? Very sorry for the loss of your family, Robin. I didn't lose him. He went to father. And I see him all the time, right here. And I feel him, here. And we can't take that from me, no sir, no sir. 
I'm just, just waiting, that's all. Just waiting. Just waiting. Waiting for what? To be called home, Mr. Jim. To be called home. Dad is coming. I promise. You just hug your mom around the neck for me. I don't know why she ain't talking to me. I can do nothing. Why do you think he spared you? I ask him that all the time. I used to, I used to just get so angry. I just keep on telling me, be a good and faithful servant, and one day I'll see glory. After all these years, I finally know why. Why? You, Mr. Jim. Me. And upstairs wants you to know he loves you. That's funny. I don't believe in the man upstairs. He sure believes in you, Mr. Jim. They say he works in mysterious ways. But ain't no mystery here, no sir, no sir. Mm -mm. You are here to be saved, Mr. Jim. Me? Praise Jesus. I'm on the saving train. <laughs> Sounds more like the crazy train. When you've been where I've been, seen what I've seen and heard what I heard, you might sound a little crazy too. But that don't mean what I'm saying ain't true. I just hope you realize that before it's too late. Tell us about the Imp of Darkness. Devil's land. Ain't nothing more to tell. How long do you live and work out there? Too long. I breathe in that evil every day. And I wake up every morning full of praise, just singing those sweet hymns with Janie and the children. And we, we lift our heads up and scream at the top of our lungs, not today, Satan. Not today. Not today. But something went wrong, didn't it, Robin? Dad is sorry, baby. I didn't mean to leave you. I didn't mean to leave you. What happened? Pride. My wife begged me to leave. Her and the kids, they hated it out there. It was just... He was just so scared. But I wasn't. It was my house. It was my land. And I told the devil, you ain't taking my family from me. We ain't supposed to fight the devil. That's the Lord's battle. So you see, it was my pride. It was my pride that got him all killed. I don't believe you. Jim. No. He's not telling us everything. You tell me the truth. It wasn't just pride, was it, Robin? Grace and mercy is something you struggle with, Mr. Jim. Well, let me share it with you. I don't need nothing from you, pal. Not from me, from him. <laughs> oh, she's like this. You, you ain't getting me without no fighting. I don't want to. 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 You see things, don't you? Yes, sir, I do. It's your gift? You could call it that. I got me a gift, too. I hear things. Others don't. Like all those voices in your head, huh? No. Like the thoughts in your head right now. You think I'm murdering my family, but you can't figure out how. You got no evidence. 
need to see to believe. Don't you, detective? No one thinks you murdered. Shut up! I'm sorry, Mr. May. Please forgive me. It's okay, Robin. We didn't mean to upset you. So you all want to know what happened to Deputy Cooper, right? Yes, we do. Well, I suppose you have to take me there, then. You show us. Who? Old Nick. I think we need to take him back to where we found him. Get the hell out of here. I just don't feel right about this. Well, maybe you should grab hold of some of that real faith you were just talking about. What's he done? Said he hasn't been back to hell since his family left this world. So he needed to spend some time with the good word first. Can't imagine what that poor guy's been through. Yeah. I can't believe he hasn't offed himself. God knows I would have. It's because of the words written in red. What's that? Bible. Every word Jesus spoke is written in red. My dad was a pastor. He was incredible. He once preached this sermon about facing our darkest days. When we feel like we've lost everything and just want to give up. And we're too afraid to go on to simply hold on to the red letters. And after all that guy's been through, he still believes in all that fairy tale. You can't see it because you don't know it, but that's conviction right there. No, Mike. That's just a broken down, deranged old man. And that's all that is. Jesus looked like a common criminal hanging on the cross. But he was the savior of the world. Looks can be deceiving, Mr. Jim.
Looks harmless enough. That's what they want you to believe. They? For we are many. Legion. Legion? Yeah, it's a reference from the Bible where a group of demons... No, 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 no. Hand me that notebook. A detective buddy called me a few months ago, asked me if I'd ever heard of this family of Legion. The devil's people. They said it was some cult. They found him living in this industrial complex outside Knoxville. Killed seven people in this sacrificial ceremony. What's that got to do with this? What if this is somehow connected to that cult? How? He said before they could make any arrest, that the suspects just vanished, disappeared. But he'd been tracking all these members of satanic cults, and they were all connected to this family of Legion. But they constantly move from one so-called sacred grounds to the next, but it's always places with a deep history of evil. Doing the devil's work places like this and what if the blood that was found inside there belonged to victims of some sort of sacrifice and deputy cooper stumbled upon something he couldn't get himself out of but backup was here within a couple of minutes but these people survived by always having an evac route out that's what they did in tennessee so they snatched him and took off. So you think Deputy Cooper's still alive? Explains your visions being different. I don't know. Sounds like you're forcing a story to try and make it more logical. It's like you said, North Carolina all over again. You were blinded by a house full of children poisoned by their parents, but that wasn't the truth. We found the truth when we looked into those places no one else looked. And ain't no one looking for Legion here. He's right. This place is perfect. Perfect for what? To kill us all. Hey. What did you say? He's waiting for us. Who's that, Robin? You know who, Mr. Mike? Uh, let me guess. The devil. No! no! Do not say his name. Not here. Give me a damn break, you two. This whole Satan. No! Oh! I'm serious. You will come a running if you call. Good. You want me to believe? You want me to believe? Then let's bring him out here. Hey, hey, old serpent man. Demon face. Mr. Devil. Prince of Darkness. Mayor of Hell. Dante. Show your face. What is it, Robin? Shh. James 2.19. You believe there is one God? Good. Even demons believe. And shut it. Go. Now. I'm not leaving you, Robin. You must! This isn't for you. Not here. It's his time. My time for what? To answer for your sins. What kind of madness are you talking about now? Wait, Jim. Someone starts are talking to him. Not some ones. The evil ones. He's got plans for you, Mr. Jim. 
God doesn't want you here, Mike. You should leave. You're telling me this guy can hear God's thoughts and the devil's at the same time? working out for you. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept faith. Robert, no! No! Hey, 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 hey! Stay with me. Stay. No, 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 Stay. Hey, hey, hey. No! 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 Robin! Hey! 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 No, come on. No. no, come on. He wasn't supposed to go like this. You can't, you get me. Are you kidding me? Stop. Just stop. He's gone, Mike. He's gone. He was sick, Mike. He just couldn't take it being back out here. Must have finally made him snap. He didn't do this to himself. What the hell are you talking about? His hand was forced. Don't you start. That devil made him do it crap with me. Not now. That man, he did that to himself with his own free will. Your God didn't save him. Satan didn't make him do it. You're too smart to think otherwise. And you're too dumb to see what's happening right in front of your face. I see two men whose faith got them nothing but a murdered family and a wasted life. Comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. 
You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' name. Hey. Look at this. Cameras. The report said that the business had security cameras. These ain't security cameras. Somebody's watching this place. FBI? Not with these. Theirs would be wired for lifetime surveillance. These, they capture video for a certain amount of time, then they gotta be downloaded. Looks new. Yeah. Maybe the last day or two. But they were thrown up quickly. Maybe someone at the sheriff's office trying to keep tabs on the FBI. Even the FBI would have found these. Two cameras pointed directly at that door. The last place Deputy Cooper was ever seen. Somebody wants to see who else is going to go in there. Where are you going? I want to see what's behind door number one. I was afraid you might say that.
okay? I saw him. I actually saw his face. You saw who, Mike? What was that? I don't know. from the inside. <laughs> Something's got it sealed from the outside. You wait here. Jim, here. Uh-uh. I'm good. You keep that one trained on that door. got us trapped in here. There's got to be another way out. There isn't. Look. There. I think this is some kind of setup. What? And we walked right into it. What do you mean? It's us. I think they want us in here. What? What was the last thing that the parents of the North Carolina massacre said to us? I don't remember. Yes, you do. It was the night before they hung themselves. They said we'd answer for what we'd done. But what did we do? You helped prove that they were innocent of killing their children. But what if all these years you were right and I was wrong. And they weren't. Then they didn't kill themselves because they were guilty. They killed themselves because they failed. Maybe they failed Legion. And that's what we have to answer for. The fact that we pushed the wrong story. But if they wanted us to tell the world that they sacrificed their kids for Satan, why not just confess? Why, why claim to be innocent? Because they were. The kids. They were Legion, too. They willingly killed themselves. That's why they had all those letters written to old Nick in their journals. No one forced them. And that's what had to come out. And we screwed it up when I found the evidence that I thought showed it was an accident. We ruined their old Nick story. That's one hell of an elaborate plan. Family of Legion runs deep. They knew we'd come, and they knew we would follow every lead they put in front of us. The Sheriff, 
It started with him. And he led us to Scott. Scott led us to Pat. Pat led us to Robin. And Robin led us here. To Legion. To Old Nick. <laughs> the front door! I got the back! do that, Mike. What? All right. I need you to listen to me. Really listen to me. Okay? All right. I know that you and I have battled over faith and fiction throughout the years, and you're real practical, gotta see it to believe it kind of guy, but listen- Don't you start that with me. Don't try to convert me again. Not here. I know nothing has changed, all right? In fact, this just proves my point. This ain't the devil. This is a bunch of lunatics. All right, stop. Listen, listen to me for just one minute. We're running out of time. Exactly. So shut up and get ready to fight. That's what I'm trying to do. But I need you to listen to me before it's too late. Fine. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's against the spiritual forces of evil. We need to put on the full armor of God in order to stand against the powers of darkness. Go! We need to stand against that door because the people who are going to come through there want to kill us, Mike. Repent, Jim. What? You need to repent. You need to ask Jesus for forgiveness before it's too late. You need to take that gun and put it at that door. And Jesus said unto me, Mike. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes before the Father. Next time. Don't repent. Have Jesus for forgiveness. With all your heart. Mike. Mike. Hey! Shh! Shh! Don't! Don't! Just breathe, okay? What? What, what is it? I, I don't! I don't know what's wrong. Come, come closer. If you believe, with all your heart, say. Say what, Mike? Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Shh. Shh, Mike. I'm not saying that. Sorry. You killed! 
killed my friend! I don't know who! I don't know how, but I am going to find you, rip out your hearts, and shove them down your throat! One by one, every single person who had a hand in this, I'm going to kill you! And I am going to murder the entire Legion family, you... I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. After I shot you, Detective. <laughs> what did you say? Remember? I leaned over your bloody body and pointed the gun in your face and said the man on the pale horse sent me and Tell followed with us. Shut up! You didn't believe then, but you surely believe now. No, I don't believe! But his satanic majesty just tore out your friend's insides, and now I'm playing with them. Shut up. <laughs> you shut your mouth about my friend! Or what? You'll kill me? How? You don't even believe I'm here. Don't you say <laughs> nothing about him! Ah! What did you do to me? Our Father, thy art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <laughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. For we also forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. against me but I assure you when I put two hollow points in your brains you're gonna be dead Yeah! 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 
This is the verdict. Light has come into the world. The people of darkness instead of light. Because their deeds were evil. May Legion be praised for our evil deed. Whoa. 